I am now sponsored by SeatGeek and FanDuel. Make sure to use code BENGAL. That's code BENGAL for $20 off your first purchase on SeatGeek and $20 free to play when you sign up for FanDuel. Also, check out my Twitch for live streams, a second channel for other games. Both links are in the description. What's going on, guys? Bengal again here coming back at you with another video. And today, I'm finally back on Madden NFL 19 for the start of my Houston Oilers relocation expansion franchise. I've been teasing it a little bit on Twitter. If you guys do not follow me on Twitter, make sure to do so. The link is in the description along with the rest of all of my links. Twitter.com slash Bengal Designs. It's a quality page. Make sure you uh, go over and follow it. But I've been teasing it over there with a number of different posts. Many of you caught on to it. Uh, posted a picture advertising my new haircut, which was really just an excuse to wear an, an uh, Earl Campbell jersey to show off the Houston Oilers. So you guys can see that clearly in here. Uh, and I'm excited to get back on a Madden. This has been something I've been planning for over a year and a half now. So I was really excited to get into the idea of this. I knew that Giants franchise certainly wouldn't last forever. So this will be the second half of your Madden entertainment leading up into Madden 20. Of course, it is only February now. So we have a lot of time left before Madden 20. This hopefully should carry us through, carry us over into Madden 20, and then we'll see what we do in that game. So... If you guys didn't see the video advertising for the Bengals Cinematic Universe, you might have some questions about that. So each year, we're going to do the draft class. We're going to draft it with this team. This one will be with rookies from the 2019 class, by the way. Uh, but if you guys watch Giants franchise, you know then clearly guys like Roman Pugh, guys like Morris DuBose, they will be drafted in 2019. So they're also going to be in the franchise with their starting overalls. So they will be on the Giants in this, just not in the draft class because I want to make sure they go to the actual team, if that makes sense. So Ellis Offord, who we drafted, who ended up on the Saints, is on the Saints now. And Antoine, Antoine Todd, Antoine Todd, who's a middle linebacker, who we ended up trading to the Chargers, is on the Chargers. But to start this process, we have to leave Nashville, Tennessee. We have to leave Nissan Stadium and actually relocate to Houston. We're also importing... My draft class, which I built, which is Bengal 2019 draft. It's far from perfect, but it, it is pretty good with where I want everything to be. So that is on the PS4. If you guys wish to download that yourself, it's it's available. I'm also going to be using Mr. Hurricane's All Pro sliders for this franchise. So if you guys were curious as to what those are, I'll be breaking that down in the next episode in week one. But of course, in order to really make this an expansion franchise, I have to pretend it's a it's an expansion. So we're going to decide that the Tennessee Titans break up and the Houston Oilers become that team. So I forced every loss to ensure that we get the number one overall pick. And what you'll see, what I actually do in a minute, is I make every single player in the final year of their deal, for the most part, there are a few Tennessee Titans that are going to stay on the team, just to save myself some time and free agency, but you guys know here. I'm choosing the Houston Oilers. This was a no-brainer. This has been a plan for a while, and I was uh, very excited to finally make this thing happen. So we're going to choose a uniform now. I hope I don't get anyone ho anyone's hopes up with some of these like new styles or anything like that, because we're not going to do that. We're going with the classic Oilers. You know, flashback to uh, a long time ago with guys like uh, Ken Houston and uh, Earl Campbell and some really, really good players, Warren Moon. Obviously, uh, the Oilers is a storied franchise that hasn't been around uh, for a for a long time now, over 20 years. And uh, I will be choosing the deluxe traditional stadium. I just really liked the uh, the atmosphere and the setting. I think it reminds me a lot of college football and just that big uh, kind of electric stadium atmosphere. In free agency, we started off signing Marquette King, punter. Darrell Williams will be our left tackle. And we really just went all out here. Adrian Peterson. My favorite running back of all time, Jonu Smith, our favorite player of all time, Shalee Calhoun, Terrence Brooks to play strong safety, Daniel Buchanan, Chris Conley rejects, we got Romeo Aquara, Trevor Williams rejected, and Daryl Worley rejected. We don't really have much going on at cornerback, so we had to sign Justin Bethel, John Miller, Kevin White, Carlos Henderson, Scooby Wright, Hassan Ridgeway, former Texas Longhorn, a bunch of new players to the team, but now we are ready for the 2019 NFL Draft with 2019 NFL Draft prospects. If we, of course, hold the number one overall pick, but if it's not your first time on the channel, you know that I love trading down. These are some of the players we can take, but I can guarantee you uh, none of these players will be going 
to the Houston Oilers at number one overall as we are going to look to trade down. Number of really good players in here, though. Nick Bosa, but we ended up trading with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, number one overall, to pick up number two, their first round pick next year, and a third round pick from the Bucs this year. And then we trade that pick to the Cincinnati Bengals for number six overall, a second round pick this year, and a first round pick next year. So we have three first round picks next year. We have two second round picks this year as Jonah Williams goes number one overall. And uh, we have uh, two third round picks this year as well including number six overall. Nick Bosa goes number two overall to the Cincinnati Bengals. Josh Allen to the Detroit Lions. Outside linebacker out of Kentucky. Quinn and Williams to the Buffalo Bills. They get another SEC defensive tackle named Williams. This one, not quite like Kyle Williams, but we'll see. Devin White to the Arizona Cardinals, and we are on the clock. Dwayne Haskins, Kyler Murray, number of really good players here on the board, but I could not resist the temptation to get the Houston-born Ed Oliver, who went to the University of Houston, now drafted to become a Houston Oiler, the first draft pick in Houston Oilers history as we've been rebounded, reborn. Superstar development, 84 overall, can't go wrong. Jeffrey Simmons goes to the Denver Broncos, Greg Little to the New York Jets. I was very excited to take Ed Oliver, though. The, uh, the potential of keeping him in Houston was just it was way too good of a storyline to pass up on so I just I just couldn't do it as Cleveland Furl goes to the Carolina Panthers their Julius Peppers replacement their next Julius Peppers who knows Greedy Williams Seahawks follow the tradition of taking a big bodied corner 6-2 Greedy Williams AJ Brown to the Chiefs DeAndre Baker is going to Oakland and then eventually Las Vegas Christian Wilkins to the Chicago Bears Juwan Taylor to the Philadelphia Eagles they get franchise tackle maybe to Keel Harry to the Baltimore Ravens. Draymond Jones to the Steelers. Mitch Hyatt to the Houston Texans. Jerry Tillery to the LA Rams. Drew Locke, no, goes to the Giants. Mac Wilson, middle linebacker out of Alabama to the Washington Redskins. Byron Murphy to the Miami Dolphins. Shakai Polite to the Niners, I believe. I don't know. I don't know who that said. Noah Fant goes to uh, Dallas. Montez Sweat. Dwayne Haskins to the New England Patriots, though. As the Vikings take Cody Ford out of Oklahoma. Michael Dieter goes to the Packers. They're keeping him in Wisconsin. Dalton Reisner to the Falcons. Trayvon Mullen to the Jags. And the Packers take Chris Lindstrom out of BC. And then the Chargers go David Edwards right before the Oilers are back on the clock. First pick of the second round. And he is still here. Projected to go top 10. And he's still available. We are going Rashawn Gary. Defensive lineman out of the University of Michigan. Welcome to the Houston Oilers, the New Jersey native. Goes to Michigan, and now he's making that big triangle you know, across this part of the country, um, this half of the country, and he goes now to Houston, Texas, also superstar development and another stud defensive lineman as Deontay Thompson goes to Alabama. Devin Bush is kept in state in Michigan. Going to the Detroit Lions, Eric McCoy to the Buffalo Bills, Elgin Jenkins to the Arizona Cardinals, and once again, the Houston Oilers are on the clock, and we are going an FCS player, a former two-star recruit to the Delaware Blue Hens, Nasir Adderley. Hopefully, the next Earl Thomas, a, you know, a sideline to sideline, extremely rangy safety, can kind of do it all, six foot, about 200 pounds, star development out of the FCS school in Delaware. Unbelievable. Hopefully, he should be a really good player for us. Nasir Adderley, as our first three picks have all been defense. And now we're to the third round. We have back-to-back -back picks at the start of the first round as Hollywood Brown goes at the end of the second, and we're taking a different wide receiver. That is Kelvin Harmon, wide receiver out of NC State. Big-bodied, 6'3", 214 pounds, only normal development, 76 overall. But he immediately becomes wide receiver number one, and we'll see what we can do with him in this Oiler offense as we follow it up with another offensive player that is David Montgomery running back out of Iowa State keeping him somewhat in an area he's familiar with of course playing in the Big 12 at Iowa State uh, played a lot you know in Texas versus Texas State versus Texas versus TCU so he has some experience playing here hopefully he shouldn't be too much of a challenge as Debo Samuel is still on the board couldn't pass this up we get the South Carolina receiving beast. Can play him in the slot, can play him outside. He's a versatile player. Should offer a lot for us. Debo Samuel on the board. I had to take that opportunity. 
and really buff this offense as we're now in round five and we're taking our potential QB of the future in Tyree Jackson. He's going to be a project, but he's got a cannon for an arm. I believe he's like 96, 97 throw power, something in that range. Quick development too. So he might not be a lost cause. And we also take Emmanuel Hall, another receiving threat for now our quarterback Tyree Jackson out of Missouri and following up with a center Garrett Bradbury at NC State, a player I didn't end up editing uh, in the class, hadn't had the time, and he's only a 63 overall. I'd probably make him at least 10 overall points higher, but we're not going to be able to do that um, for fairness, I guess. As we review the draft class, Ed Oliver, defensive tackle out of Houston, Rashawn Gary will be a defensive tackle for us out of uh, the University of Michi Michigan, Nasir Adderley, Safety out of Delaware. Kelvin Harmon, receiver out of NC State. David Montgomery, halfback out of Iowa State. Debo Samuel, wide receiver out of South Carolina. Tyree Jackson, quarterback out of Buffalo. Emmanuel Hall, receiver out of Missouri. And again, then Garrett Bradbury, keeping the teammates together. Center out of NC State. Our defense is going to be primarily a 5-2. Keep that in mind. And of course, for the Giants, they have the guys I mentioned. Howard, Russell, Roman Pugh, Morris DuBose. I am super excited for this franchise. Ellis Offord is down in New Orleans with the Saints, and Antoine Todd is out in uh, Los Angeles with the Chargers playing middle linebacker. Of course, we're going to be adding players from 49ers franchise as well, so stay tuned for that. This is the team. Tyree Jackson's our quarterback. We got David Montgomery and Adrian Peterson. I'm super excited. I hope you guys are as well. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I suppose I will be seeing you guys in the next one. Take it easy.